Now, BIM as information management, AI as processing, smart processing and learning from that information. Um, I've, I've been to one conference, uh, one panel I participated in where the it, it was about BIM and AI and so on. And they've ended up with conclusion that information management or let's say BIM is actually a foundation of amazing things that are in front of us with AI. But we need to have that data in order to, uh, to, to, to let's say, uh, to, to give it to AI, let's say, in order to process and to uh, get some valuable insights uh, just describing what what we have in Bexel CDE but there are also other tools but in in the Bexel CDE when you have all that structured it's amazing what you can do uh, with even simple simple with even BI so not not AI but business intelligence where you can yourself go through those dashboards you know and take various insights out of it, you know, uh, dig into that data quite easily. And then you have AI on top of that all that can just amplify it, that can provide you with those insights faster and deeper, let's say, uh, and, and with more context and so on. So practically uh, all these technologies of BIM, Digital Twin, AI, whatever uh, you were mentioning, there's, they're all let's say found in, in data, in information, in information management. You can add checklists. You can add yeah. uh, so lists. many different, uh, so many different uh, domains. You can just add into, uh, into the, the platform itself. And then in that interconnection from that database, let me just stop there for a second. When, when I'm uh, speaking about database, there are important things there. That database needs to be yours. You need to be, you, you need to maintain your ownership over your own data. You need to be sure that with your data, your AI agents are trained and not others. Yeah. You know, th those are very important uh, data security concepts that, that we are thinking in Vaxel always, and we are providing our uh, customers with, with I, I would say, a unique possibilities to, to, to be completely uh, sure that their data is handled in a way that, that, that I'm describing now, that they are the owners of, of their own data and so on.
you know, be that one. Be that one person who inspires. Be that one person who adds value. Every day you should uh, ask yourself whether you brought value on your project where you are uh, involved. And, you know, uh, amazing things are uh, being developed around us. So you need to be curious. You need to stay open to innovations. What made our industry where it is, is actually the lack of it. You know, you need to be open to innovations. Open, let, let's go wider. Open to new experiences, you know, to new things that come on your way. So with all of that, you just need at the end of the day to ask yourself, have I added value today? And if every day you ask yourself, the answers will vary. You know, you, you will have answers. Yes, I, I did great today. And you will have, oh, this was my bad day. But just reminding yourself that you are here to contribute. You are here to inspire others. You are here to add energy. You are here, you know, you will be the favorite team member for sure. And with that, you will be the the the, the successful one. You will be the one that that arises in your career and so on. So definitely in those words, I would, I would say uh, li lies the, 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 my recommendation and advice to, to youngers. When you say, what is the best productivity app? You know, I, I think that sometimes we need to have some silence. So best productivity activity app would be a silent button, you know, or yeah. airplane mode on, on your phone or something like that, where you uh, have some focus. But other than that, if you ask me, I, I, I'm using notes. I'm just writing notes, writing my thoughts, and later on, I will uh, work on them. So on my phone, those are two most, uh, let's say, uh, helpful things when I need to actually uh, deliver.